live from the NBC4 studios, this is News Channel 4 Midday. Voted the best news operation in Ohio. Working for you. If you love antiques, you probably frequent tag sales and estate auctions. A Columbus company is bringing antique auctions into the 21st century. Jim Kamnikar is the president of GoAntiques.com. Jim, thanks for being here. Sure, Andrew. This is very cool. You've actually been up and running for some time. Tell me uh, how this works, what GoAntiques.com is. Well, GoAntiques is the largest fixed-price marketplace for antiques and collectibles on the Internet. We have almost 1,200 antique dealers and collectibles dealers from 24 countries that sell through our service. And anybody can come online and buy the wonderful merchandise that we have. And this is uh, all the excitement of a live auction. People can go online. And um, you said only dealers that you screen can sell, but anybody can get online and buy. That, right. That's exactly right. And on our website, they can buy in a fixed price format, which means inventory has uh, uh, prices listed on it. But in addition, we're running eBay live auctions now. And some of the items that I brought are like coming up on um, some auctions that we're doing. Okay. I want to take a look at some of the things that you brought. Tell me about, about some of these. Okay. This, this first item over here is uh, a German piece from the earliest, early 20th century. It's made out of lead pottery. And they used to sell um, wine and beer in those containers. But interestingly, during World War II, they stored ink for the mint to print money in those containers and they hit them in the salt mines so they can continue to do currency during that period of time. So uh, that item is coming up in an upcoming auction. Uh, all the auction dates are available on the front page of our website, GoAntiques.com, okay. and that's one of the items that's coming up. It's three to $600 is the price range on that particular piece. And as we're looking at these, I wanted to ask you, um, Antiques now, there's a lot of replicas that are sort of sifting into the market. How do you tell the authenticity, especially when you're doing something online, how do you tell the authenticity of an item? Well, it's really important to get an idea of who you're buying from. Mm -hmm. That's one of the great things about our service, that all of our dealers are, uh, are committed members of our service that sign contracts to sell on our service. So we have a very, very good idea who all of our sellers are. Uh, we do have a reproductions channel that's separate, so that antiques are in the antiques category, collectibles in the collectibles category, and so forth. So, uh, but for for the buyer, you know, we, you're very much assured of buying good quality merchandise because of the level of, of people that are selling on our site. Okay, and we just have a little bit of time left. I want to. Check out these other two items here. These are beautiful. Yeah, this this item right here is an absolutely uh, beautiful piece. It's bone resin. It's a, a temple uh, sculpture, and it's from the late 19th century. It's all hand carved, and this will be coming up in our upcoming Orentalia auction. Uh, and its uh, value is between two and four thousand oh, dollars. So just a one, wonderful piece. And what about the picture? Yeah, and the last piece is called Silvery Moonlight. It's a Tabor Prang art print, and it's a one of one, which is very unusual. But uh, early uh, late 19th century, early 20th century piece. Uh, that particular group was very famous in doing art prints and uh, three to six hundred dollars on the value of that coming up in our uh, June 24th art sale. Okay. Jim, thanks so much for being here. Thanks Appreciate for having it. Us. GoAntiques.com if you want to check that out. In the meantime, we're going to get a check on our forecast. Bob, what's it look like out there?